what's up everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and it's a dogfight between two of the baddest phones in the land. The HTC Droid Incredible for Verizon and the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. Special thanks to Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with a couple of these phones to review and give away to you on the OnePod Bandit. So stay tuned for that because uh, you'll want to win one of these, trust me. Uh, Best Buy Mobile, no, uh, no mail-in rebates. You go in, you buy your phone, you pay the mail-in rebate price at the desk. It's like they give you the rebate they take together for you. You don't have to deal with it later. That's a good thing. Best Buy Mobile. Uh, what can I tell you? Android, big screens, HTC Sense, high-res cameras. Eh, it sounds real good on paper. How is it in real life? Let's check it out. Dogfight style. All right. So, you know, dogfight for the ages here. Um, on the left, Verizon, HTC made Droid Incredible. On the right, Sprint, also HTC made Evo 4G. Uh, of course, you know, you could throw very easily into here the... Uh, Nexus One, HTC made Nexus One. Uh, I just don't happen to have one right here. And also since these two uh, are, you know, the two new phones and they're both, um, you know, somewhat similar in terms of specs, somewhat similar, although if you can say that, you can say the Nexus is as well. Anyway, point being, uh, you know, these are the two we've got. This is the dogfight. I think I'm gonna have to get a hold of another Nexus One. Um, I had a chance to play with Froyo on it. Hey now. I had a chance to play with Froyo. That's the MyTouch 3G slide in the background. It's like, why am I not in this? Well, what's up? Well, you know, you're not you're not in this one. Anyway, uh, I had a chance to play with Froyo on our Nexus one a little bit, but I'm gonna have to get one into the uh, into the office here, into the Phone Dog West offices on a long term basis, and um, you know, really put us through its paces. Maybe do another dog fight. But anyway, for now, this is the dog fight. Uh, so let's go real quick. Uh, we're gonna try to do this sort of. Instead of going through all the features and everything, we've done so many videos, multiple videos, and written reviews on both phones. We're going to try to break this down in terms of uh, a little more structured in terms of hardware, software, features, pros and cons, and uh, and pricing as well, because pricing kind of plays into this. So in terms of hardware, the big difference is here uh, with the Droid Incredible, you know, the, the screen, we'll start with the screen because that's the most obvious thing, uh, the same resolution on both, 800 by 480 uh, the Evo 4G is 4.3 inch, the Droid Incredible is 3.7 inch, so the Evo gives you a little more room to do things. Uh, if we fire up the internet on both phones here, and we go to type in a new address, uh, one of the places you notice it the most, the added room, is when you're typing. Uh, whether you're in portrait or landscape mode, the on-screen keyboard on the Evo is just physically larger. Again, the the resolution's the same, but the but you know everything's just bigger on the Evo because of the bigger screen, and so um, while there are certain places, uh, I've heard some complaints that sense in some places the graphics look a little, little you know not quite as smooth because of the larger display that the actual pixels are larger. Uh, the flip side is that you have more room; the buttons are bigger, so I find it much easier to type on the Evo than the Incredible. It's not like the Incredible is all that hard, but the Evo I think uh, has the best. Uh, on-screen typing experience of any Android phone that I've tried uh, simply just because the buttons are so large. Um, so that's a plus certainly in the Evo's favor. Screen technology, uh, the Evo is actually a TFT LCD panel whereas the uh, Incredible is an AMOLED, A-M-O-L-E-D panel. So what you get here is you get the colors pop a little bit more. Actually let's go back to the web and we'll go to uh, or no, let's go look at the sample photos, because uh, they always put the same sample. Okay, so here's the same stock photo uh, that came with each phone. This is preloaded on the device. And uh, if we kind of get it to fill the screen here a little bit, should I get the same uh, exact shot of the girl here? Um, you know, the, the color, it, just the color cast a little bit different on the two devices. Uh, it's hard to say if one is necessarily better than the other. The colors pop a little bit more on the Incredible. If you look now, obviously you're watching this, this is a video of these photos and the video has been compressed and it's subject to the lighting conditions of the video, etc., etc. So it may not translate exactly. But the, uh, the reddish orange on the girl's shirt here pops a little more on the Incredible than on the Evo. And uh, the dark color of her jeans pops a little more. Uh, down in the corner here, these details, this, uh, whatever this thing is here, the bike. We'll look at the bike colors. The bike, that's a good good example there. The bike, the red on the bike pops more on the Droid Incredible than the Evo. It's not that the Evo's bad. They're both, you know, really 
uh, bright, very nice to look at displays. But the colors, because of the AMOLED technology, tend to pop a little more. The flip side, uh, arguably, you know, some things about battery life, although that that's battery life is subject to so many factors. But the big thing is that um, the TFT display on the Evo is easier to see in bad lighting conditions, including direct sunlight, and, and harsh lighting conditions, I'd say, where it's very bright out, direct sunlight, than uh, the AMOLED, which is virtually useless in sunlight. So there are trade-offs uh, with the displays on both. Again, I think under optimal lighting conditions, uh, the color, the richness, you know, just the vividness of the Incredibles display is better. Um, but if you're using the phone outside uh, in the bright sunlight, the, the Incredible may be very hard to see if you could see it at all, whereas it would be a little bit easier to see on the, uh, the Evo. Here, we'll look, take a look real quick. Uh, this one shows it as well. The colors, you know, in her face and the sunglasses, definitely a little richer. They just pop a little more on the Incredible. Uh, so a trade-off there. They're both multi-touch capacitive. The screens respond very nicely. Uh, but, you know, you get... You get basically you get a brighter, uh, larger display, same pixels but larger, roomier, easier to type on, easier to use in direct sunlight on the Evo, on the Incredible. It's a little bit smaller but still plenty big at 3.7 inches. And under optimal lighting conditions, the uh, AMOLED display I think is uh, performs better. So there's the displays. Form factor wise, uh, very similar uh, in terms of what they do, except you get the optical trackpad on the uh, optical trackball here. On the Incredible, which you don't get on the Evo. I kind of like having it there, particularly for um, editing text. I find it much easier to use this than on the Evo. Uh, you have, we'll call the keyboards back up here. On the Evo, uh, you have to use these arrow keys that show up. They don't show up when you're, uh... oh yeah, they do. They're on the bottom. So you have the four arrow keys. Um, or if you're in widescreen mode, they're over on the side. So you use those to uh, move the cursor around. You can see up in the top there. Whereas on the, uh, the Droid Incredible, you can move the optical trackpad. I prefer the optical trackpad myself. Um, and, you know, Android doesn't have uh, a, a nice... The, the system for selecting one particular key or one particular place in, uh, in your string of text with your finger isn't very good. It doesn't have something like on the iPhone where, you know, you get that little magnified pop-up and then it's very easy to uh, choose exactly where you, go, where you want to go. On Android, you just kind of have to tap and hope you get there, so then it's nice to have the optical trackpad. So, little nod to, uh, to the incredible in terms of controls on the phone. Uh, otherwise, hardware, you know, form factor, uh, they're both quite nice. The Evo feels a little more solid. I like the build quality of the Evo a little better. I like the materials in the Evo a little better. I don't really like the back panel on the Incredible. Uh, some people, I, I think, might love it. Myself, I think it's kind of, I just, I don't know, I don't like the design. I don't like how it, you know, is that, that layered thing. And then the back, the materials in the back panel feel a little tiny bit rubbery and cheap. They're not bad. It's not a deal breaker, but not as nice. Uh, the Evo just nice and smooth and feels a little nicer in the hand. Uh, both phones, your lens on your camera is just, uh, it's out there. There's nothing protecting it. And the way that the phones rest, you know, you can see it on my on my hand. It'd be better to show you on the uh, flat surface there. But, you know, the phone's just going to rest uh, on the lens. So uh, we'll have to see, you know, after these phones have been out in the market for months, if people are complaining about um, about scratched up. Uh, camera lenses or not. Also on the Evo you get the kickstand, which some people think is kind of gimmicky. I actually think it's pretty cool because it's not really flimsy. It's nice. It's spring-loaded and, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. And for viewing media, for watching videos, that kind of stuff, which you're, you're probably a lot of people are going to do with this phone because it's a large display, uh, it is handy just to have it sitting up there. So uh, that's nice. Or if you're at your desk, you know, and you're working and you want to have your phone there. Uh, it'd be cool if it had a mode where you could rotate the home screen um, so that if you got, you know, text messages or emails or whatever notifications you wanted, they would kind of pop up automatically. It'd be nice to see a, a software update along those lines. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it, it's handy for viewing media for sure. Um, Ah! <laughs>